Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install MuseScore 4 and give some tips on how to connect MuseScore 4 to MuseHub. I had to reinstall everything on this computer so I need to do this anyway, so I thought I would share just in case if someone needs to know how to do this. Even when something is simple, it's easy to miss something and then it costs you <laughs> more minutes than we would like. So I am on a Mac and I'm running the newest update as of October 14th, 2024. I'm on Chrome, as you can see, and I'm going to download MuseScore. And I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to click on Mac. And now if you're a Mac user, you want to be aware because some are still using the Intel chip or the Silicon. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. We're musicians. But you just want to make sure that you know what you're doing. If you don't know, you can go to the Apple here, and it'll tell you about this Mac, and it'll tell you if it's Intel or an M1 chip because sometimes things are run a little differently. In this case, I think we're good to go. So we're just gonna click on download for Mac, and then after downloading, we'll double click, and then we're gonna slide. Right now we have the Muse Hub, which is part of now MuseScore and MuseScore Studio. So I'm gonna slide that into applications. And once that slid in, I then have it in applications, but I also double click, so I'm going to install and I'll follow the prompts. And if you haven't created an account, you need to create one, it's free. I use the same account that I have through my MuseScore Cloud, so I'm going to sign in here. Simply copy and paste the code. In this case, you have two hours to do it, so should be enough time. So I downloaded MuseScore and right away it took me to the MuseScore hub. Now I'm going to return to the app. All right, so now what I need to do is go to MuseScore Studio, which is our software, MuseScore 4. I'm going to click on download shouldn't take too long. In the past, you just go to website and click on MuseScore 3 or whatever you do, 4, and then you would just download it and you get the software. In this case, I downloaded MuseScore, but it, can't, it hooked me right up to the MuseScore hub. And that's, that's fine. Uh, you might get a little shocked by it because you'll need to set an account, but it's all free. What's good about the MuseScore or the Muse hub I'm pretty new to it, but you can upgrade your sounds for free. So this looks like it's done. So I'm going to click open. And I'm going to see, uh, probably we'll have a tour. Scanning audio engines, very good at showing my contact. I'm going to go to dark theme. And um, they already give you lessons that you can watch and listen to. So that's great. So I have the MuseScore Studio up. What I'm gonna do though is go to, let's see, help, check for updates. Sometimes, okay, great, I'm up to date. I like to do that right away. And I didn't get any error messages, so that's good. What I'm gonna do now is just close out of this. Doing, yep, yeah, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of everything and I'm gonna launch MuseScore. I guess it's now MuseScore Studio. After so many years, I'll have to change it. All right, so here I am. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna throw some notes on the screen. We will uh, pick flute. And we're gonna skip all of this for now. I'm gonna just take advantage of this video and then do a quick install of some of the new sound fonts they have. So I'm just going to write a basic scale or something close to it. Definitely not a composition lesson here. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add in some articulation. First bar, I'm gonna slur it. The second bar, staccato. And then we'll do some accents maybe. Let's see. This is good testing of what I know for shortcuts. All right, so I'll put forte there and then I'm gonna put piano there. 
All right, so I did a few things. One, we installed MuteScore pretty fast, and then the second one is I opened up just an instrument, and I want to play the sounds, and then I'm going to go to Muse Hub and show how I can upgrade the sounds. Let's see if we hear a difference. It's fine, and it's just one instrument, so there's no buffering or crackling sound, which is a whole other video. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this because I'm probably going to have to, and that's another thing, you'll get this, the studio, what would you like to do for the cloud? I just saved to the computer. The cloud's a great thing, but when you go to the cloud, you have to, I think, go, go through prompts as far as um, registering if it's your work or piece. Uh, that's another video. I'm trying to stay on track here. So we'll put flute sound test. And right. So well, I'm saving. I'm going to close out of this. The big one for today was to download MuseScore through, I went through Chrome. And then I noticed when I went through MuseScore 4, it hooked me right up to the Muse Hub. Let me know in the comments if that doesn't happen to you. But that's how it went for me, and so I just went with the flow. Now I'm at Muse Hub, and I want to update, let's see, Woodwinds. So I don't know this um, this hub at all, really, but I'm going to go to Plugins. This is like my second time looking at it, and I am going to, there is some free Muse sounds. There we go. Like I said, my second time. All right, so there's drum lines. So let's see. I'm sure the here we go. Right in here, free Muse sound. So I want to go to Woodwinds, and hopefully that will cover flute. And this dollar sign here means you can probably give a tip, which would be awesome to do. I'm not making any money, but trust me, it's nice when I get a super thanks on my YouTube channels. So I'm downloading this. My concern is where is it downloading to? Uh, I work on PC and Macs, and sometimes when something is downloading, we don't know where the install file is. All right, so here's a thing I'm going to do. Just downloading it, and then I'm going to launch MuseScore, and then I'm going to hopefully it should find it. If that's the case, plug and play, I won't mess with it. But sometimes you have to go to the location the install location to get the sound to work correctly. That is not fun because that can take a good amount of time. So once that's done downloading, it's all woodwind, so it's probably covering sax, the flute, to clarinet, anything else. So when that's down downloading, I am curious to see how the flute sound will work. And it's pretty easy to change it. You just have to go to Mixer and then you'll see um, a tab above the levers, the R, the, I think it's the fader for the audio. All right, just about done downloading. I'm impressed my dogs haven't barked. So we have a check there that it's downloaded. All right. Now, I am kind of curious to know where did it download to, because uh, I'm a geek like that. So if I go to my account, all right, view my account. Oh, nope, it, I'm going to the lower left to settings. Settings should tell me something. All right, so this is automatically install apps, Muse score, installation folder. I have it as default. All right, what I'm gonna do is, out of sight, out of mind. I am going to launch MuseScore 4. It launches so fast on this computer. I love it. And I'm going to go to the flute sound test. I did look at this the other day, so I'll know if it's in there. So I am going to go to Mixer. All right. So we have MuseScore Basic. Cool. Now I'm going to click on this arrow. Aha. We have MuseScore Sounds. Oh, oh it looks. It did the job. I love it. I love it when it does that correctly. Or maybe I'm correct. So I'm going to go to Flute 1 Sound. Actually, before I do anything, let's just play it again so you get a really good sample. If you're old like me and if you think back in the 90s, the sounds have come such a long way. Now what's going on? Let's see. We're going to go to MuseScore, Muse Woodwinds, Flute. All right. Let's see what's going on. Do you hear a difference? 
Uh, reverb action, a little full. Love it. I don't know what you can hear through my software recording this, but it's different. It, it's more. It, it it feels like a, a well rehearsed player. They're able to get the slurs out, give it character, give it life with the accents. I love it. And if you're not bored, I am going to go to Native Instruments Contact Seven. I haven't done this, so we're going we're going live. All right. I want to see if it crashes. Hopefully not. Um, so. Contact should pop up soon. Oh, there it is. All right, so now that's contact. All right, so I can switch it to anything I want as far as my instrument. So I have to locate my flute library. Okay. I don't know if it all um, downloaded yet, so we might cancel the video early. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I don't, this could be embarrassing. Let's see. All right, let's see if it's working. This is a whole other animal that I'm doing. When something's going well, I want to experiment a bit more, and uh, this could be an SNS. All right, so I got sound, but it's a more of a contemporary sound. Uh, it is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a basic sound. So contact is reading. The user did not hook up the right sound. So what I need to do, I'm going to go to the library here. I just installed this crap. I thought it'd be quicker, but um, brand. All right, so let's see. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Instruments for you. I guess I didn't get the library yet. All right, so I'm gonna have to report back. I don't have my woodwind library yet, unless if I'm missing something. Let's see. Uh, no, but it did read contact. There's no crash. That was good. Sorry for the uh, excitement and then lack thereof. But hopefully, uh, talking points, I like to do this because I'm a teacher. Make sure when you go to download MuseScore 4, you're going to get to the Muse Hub and you're going to log in. You might need to create an account. Try to create the same account that you have if you also are a MuseScore user through their sheet music and all that. It's like 50 bucks a year. But uh, I'm very excited. I'll report back. Just get my feet wet. All right, happy music making. Bye-bye.